Hello everyone, welcome to the DigiDev channel. In this video, we're gonna go over the events in JavaScript. Events like unclick, unchange, unmouse over, and like the, and things like that. So, the thing that I forgot to tell you in the previous session is that when we create a function like this, we like arrow functions and we store it in a variable, we should always call our functions after we defined this function so now it will work perfectly so let's save it and uh, here we want to create some events so we have two ways to create events one of them is to uh, use the HTML itself so inside HTML let's say for the button one we can have an event called on click so it's a parameter for the element and we can have add on click. So inside on click, we can write JavaScript code. So what JavaScript code do we want to write? We want to call the function that we had here. So the create li. Let's just remove this code, we don't need it. So we wanna run create li to create a new li each time we click on button one. So. We say create a li with a capital I. Okay. Here I give it an ID, let's say test, and it needs a link as well. Test again. Okay. Let's save it. Save the JS code as well. And here, if I refresh, press on the button one, here you can see the test has been created. And each time I click on the button, the test will be created. So here we can have an infinite amount of elements that we can create inside a, another, ele another element. So the other way that we can uh, use on click, let's remove this code for now, save it. And uh, I want to use onclick without the HTML element or HTML parameter. Uh, I want to use it in J JavaScript. So let's give our button an ID. And I will give it the button one. Let's save it. And here, let's say const button one going to be equal to document dot get element by ID and the ID is button one. All right. Now that we have our button one, what we want to do is to create the same code, which is that each time we click on the button, we want to run the create li. So for doing that, we need to add an event listener to our button. So we say button one, there is an event listener, which is called add event listener. If we add it uh, here inside the parentheses, we have two options. The first one is the event that we're going to trigger, which is click. Here we use the same event that we used in the HTML here was on click. Here we remove the on and write it down here. So it's just click. We have multiple events that we can have, like for example, on change, we have on mouse down, on mouse enter, on mouse out, on mouse over, all of the things. So the difference that we, the only difference here in HTML is that we use on in the HTML, we have on click, on mouse down. So we have, we can have all of those event here without the on. So it is we click mouse down, mouse over. All right, now uh, here, this way we can define the event. And after that, we need to uh, say what to do. So we can use an arrow function like this and anything inside these two brackets will be the code that will be executed if the event triggers. So what I wanna do is to 
run this function create li here we have an id i'll just just put id and a link which doesn't matter okay let's save it hit refresh and each time i click now you can see it's passing uh, id and test to these elements and creating new elements so it's working now we can have other uh, functions as well other events for example button one dot add event listener let's add an mouse over event so mouse over is for when our mouse enters the area of that element so enters when our mouse enters our button in this example now let's create a function here let's create an arrow function and what i want to do is to say button one dot set attribute i want to add an attribute of style okay and what i want to do is to say background color to let's say red let's save it and if i refresh if i put my mouse in the area of the button you can see it will turn red but if i uh, move my mouse away from the button if i get out of the button you can see it stays red because we haven't defined any mouse out we say when our mouse enters change the color but we haven't said anything else for the um, changing it back to the default color so i'll just copy this event paste it down and uh, instead of mouse over i say mouse out so what i want to do is to clear the background color let's just save it or i can empty it as well let's just save it refresh you can see now if i move my mouse inside the area of the button it will turn red if i move my mouse out of the area it will go back to the default color so that's about events and uh, i hope you like this video if it helped you learn something please like the video and subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot and help my channel to grow Thank you. Bye-bye.